what's good is your boy Zola Jackson back at it again you feel me let's go uh yeah I said it was gonna be a double upload today so of course I'm wearing the same clothes it is nighttime once again got my got my ring light on so you know it is what it is but right now I'm about to react to a video that that says does kick stand a chance question mark who knows i personally think it does it just it just needs to have a better tos if you don't know what tos is is terms of service yeah it basically has no term of service but yeah it does stand a chance against twitch and youtube and all these other sites uh i did just react to aiden ross destroying his career and now let's react to this let's get right into it and i i need to figure out what my keybinds are i need to like change it because like <laughs> i need to change my keybinds because i i'd be fucking anxious for no reason all right let's go you know alternative live streaming sites are really cool and i personally am in favor of them i think they're a good thing and right now one of these sites that a lot of people are discussing is kick the twitch alternative run by train rex the gambling streamer now it seems like every day we're hearing news about kick and what's going on with it various controversies aiden ross did what and i wanted to make a video to ask and try to answer the question wait i'm sorry it's only 21 seconds in and i had a i had a When did Kick come out? October 19, 2010. I was in middle school. I was in seventh grade. I remember that. Because it was Kick and it was uh, Omegle that came out all at the same time. The monkey app. <laughs> That's what we call it. We call it the monkey app, bro. Okay, I had to, I had to flashback because, like, bro, that's crazy. People are now switching over that. When did Twitch come out? type slow because of my dyslexia 2011 so twitch came out a year after kick and twitch got more popular than kick it's probably because of amazon to be honest it's probably because of amazon why it's not so popular so fast 2011 which is a live streaming platform focused on video games with Focused on video games, it was founded by Justin Can in 2011, originally as a spin-off of Justin TV, the later start of started life in 2007 as a single channel broadcasting Kane's Can's life live around the clock pioneering the concept of live casting okay let's get back to the video does kick stand a chance can it compete with twitch and become a formidable force in the live streaming world the answer to me spoiler alert is yes <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Tom Dark channel. I'm your host Tom Dark and back when Kick was announced I think a lot of people were confused on whether or not it would be able to get much of a foothold you know because Twitch has been around for so long and YouTube obviously you know they have streaming there. There's not as much streaming there but YouTube's still a big platform. The idea that a new website would be able to get some of that market share is you know dubious. People are skeptical but from the start Train was putting forward some big incentives for people to get on board with it and Twitch. it made streamers kind of side-eye Kick and be like hey that's uh that's not a bad 
deal, you know? The first huge incentive was the idea that streamers would be given a 95% cut of the money they bring in, while Kick would only take 5%, five? which is a huge difference when compared to Twitch, because Twitch takes 50%, which is huge. And I'm not, you know, going to say that that, that is percentage crazy. is necessarily unjustified, because Twitch does do a lot in terms of having infrastructure, having that built-in user base. There's a lot that they do for that 50%, but if there's another website, I'm really showing my age, bro. But like, who remembers this game? I, I forgot what the name of the game is called, bro. Because me and my family used to, like, we had the the Nintendo 64. I'm only 21. Okay, I'm only 21. But we had the Nintendo 64, and then we used to always play this game. It was this Mario Party, Mario Kart, and Super Mario 64. I forgot what the name. It just brought back so much memories of playing this game, bro. And then there's like there's like one of them where you could just where you could fly the airplane. The airplane was just so hard to control and everything like that. Uh, yeah, I brought back so many memories. That built-in user base. There's a lot that they do for that fifty percent. But if there's another website that's offering, you know, a better deal for streamers, why wouldn't they go there? They can potentially make a lot more money given that huge percentage difference, literally 45% difference. That could be life-changing money right there, you know? Imagine the raw money you're pulling in is 20 grand. Uh-uh-uh. Twitch gets to take 10 of it. But then imagine that on Kick, you would get way, way more. You'd get almost the full 20. But what Twitch currently has over Kick is the user base, really, that I mentioned right. earlier. Whereas Kick is a new site with a relatively small number of users, has less like established new. creators, Okay. Twitch, meanwhile, has been around four years and already has the big install base of people there. And as such, that pool of people can be accessed when you stream there, that pool of regular viewers. But I suspect that this pool is dwindling in size, and I'm going to make a prediction here, okay? Either Kick will become a huge Twitch rival in the next few years and sort of rise to match Twitch in terms of popularity, or we're currently witnessing... Wait, who's who's better? Like, I know there's a lot of people that switch in that were on YouTube and switch to Twitch and are switching back to YouTube. But then it's like, is Twitch really being that bad right now? Is it like that, that bad of an issue right now? I know it's like a lot of TOS stuff goes on in Twitch and Twitch will either ban them for a small portion and then bring them right back into the, into having a channel when they should not have a channel. It's like, bro, come on missing the slow descent of Twitch into failure. Honestly, maybe both. In reality, you kind of have to have both happening at the same time for Twitch to truly fail. You have to have a true competitor, and I think that could be Kick. In tandem with YouTube streaming, obviously. Now, it's already obvious to people that Twitch is losing streamers. Ludwig left Twitch, and that was a big story when it happened. Everyone was talking about it. And at the time, he was the most sub to person on the site, so he had a pretty huge presence there, you know? He'd been extremely rewarded by being on Twitch, and despite all of that, he decided to leave the platform that helped him become famous in the first place. But what many may not realize... Watch when Pokemon leaves, bro. Everybody's gonna be on kick. Everyone. I spelled it wrong. Hold on, bro. I spell kick wrong. I really did spell kick wrong. Uh, oh my god, my dyslexia is messing up right now. Huh? Oh, I'm so confused, bro. I, I I'm so confused.
Okay, I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna leave it alone because either my dyslexia is messing up. I put my glasses on because God, God, bro, it is bad today. It is bad today, bro. Realizes that a bunch of people have moved from Twitch to other platforms like YouTube a lot more than you may, you know, think. Myth I don't know if it's my dyslexia or I'm, a, I'm just a fucking idiot. <laughs> It might be I'm just a fucking idiot. Myth, who's a pretty big Fortnite streamer, left Twitch to move to YouTube as well. Another huge streamer who left is Valkyrie, who's now exclusively on YouTube. Tim the Tapman wow. moved as well and was one of the top 10 highest paid people on Twitch at one point in his career. He decided wow. to up and leave from Twitch. Sykuno, Sykuno, I don't know how to say this person's name, but you probably know him for streaming with Valkyrie and Corpse Husband. He also left Twitch to be on YouTube full time. Lily Pichu also left Twitch to be on YouTube permanently. She's not been on Twitch for 10 months. And all of these people have big audiences. And if if they thought Twitch was a cool platform that would be beneficial for their future, if they thought long term it would help them, then they would stay. And despite that, they all left for YouTube. So what do they know that we don't? Why are huge people like Ludwig, Valkyrie, and Saikuno moving to YouTube? Well, funnily enough, um, I was scrolling through this article of, of people who left Twitch, right? And there was another article linked there saying, Twitch's never-ending stream is proof there should be more rules. And I'm just going to read a, a quick excerpt here. In practice, however, Ludwig's never-ending Twitch stream is effectively testing the platform and his willingness to let content creators put themselves at risk. Ludwig's subathon began on Sunday and has consistently been seeing viewership in the tens of thousands, with more oh. hype being generated by viewers drawn to the interesting practice. Plenty of new viewers have shown up and subscribed to help keep the marathon going. And in a nutshell, you know, this article is saying that Twitch's subathon is so dangerous because it encourages streamers to not sleep, right? They, they you know, they stay up, right. they continue streaming for days and days on end, and that benefits their career, but then uh -huh. there's the health complication of maybe losing sleep, right? And to be honest with you, I think that this article is really fucking stupid. And the thing about it is that it completely def- I was just about to say the same thing, bro. They're making money. You make it bank, bro. A, a subathon, bro. Bro, man. At least the purpose Man. of Twitch, the people writing these articles don't understand the appeal. Tripping. At the end of the day, what do people enjoy from streamers? What makes them appealing? Well, people doing interesting things, people doing right. wacky stuff, and sometimes that includes some level of risk. Risk introduces a danger factor and consequences, and it, you know, it introduces stakes, and that makes people want to tune in. In the case right. of Ludwig, like they said, the dude literally just slept on stream, so he wasn't really at risk of anything. But let's say he did decide to stay up for like 72 hours straight, right? Three fucking days. Uh, he decided to be live for all that time, and then he logged off this is unsafe because he's not sleeping sure if that's his choice then should he not be allowed Perfect. to do that should it be twitch's responsibility to enforce rules i would argue no and i think this kind of mentality is the same thing that is killing twitch in my opinion the thing that makes these kinds of personalities interesting is the calculation they make of how f***ed up or weird or interesting or risky you know they're willing to be in exchange for internet fame and it seems to me that every journalist under the sun that's at like screen rant or kotaku or i don't know the wall street journal right they all don't really understand that because they write boring stupid articles that nobody reads and as a result they're spending their time trying to get twitch to make new rules to make their site more boring i mean the thing that made let's say ice poseidon and all the irl guys popular back on the day was the wacky stuff happening on their streams the weird awkward dangerous situations that happened the shenanigans they got into live people loved watching that and when something more dangerous happened that wasn't even his fault which was paul danino or ice poseidon being swatted while he was on a plane he got banned by twitch and while right. twitch did this because they thought that ice probably would generate more bad press for them it also knocked out one of the most massive streamers in the world at the time off their site and he was super entertaining and each time they make a decision like this they get further and further down this rabbit hole i mean in regards to the sexual content on their site like i mean <laughs> it's kind of crazy if you look at if you look at twitch's history bro it was a gamers only it was a gamers only streaming site first, bro. And then it's become become one of the big Hold on, let me let me see what's the most like viewed fucking things right now. What's the So you got Apex Legends at this is what they'll think I like, right? Right? Okay, so if I just click here. All right. So we got Apex Legends at 49.5 thousand viewers, right? And then we go over here 
and then we see 205k that's crazy for just chatting wonder what they're chatting about because i want to be included in the conversation uh, 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 okay okay i get it okay i'll shut up now i will shut up now what are all the categories here we go no, i need to i need to do my filters real quick Mainly for you high to low okay so it's rp is just chatting role play league of legends minecraft valorant apex that's the top five or the top six that's the top six CSGO is still it's still got a lot of viewers what the heck what is fortnite of course overwatch got his popularity at one point in time warzone warzone kind of fell off majorly i'm an apex you guys know i'm an apex dude so it's like you know Bro, if I was looking at this during the daytime, bro, it'd probably be. I thought this was up higher, though. That's what I thought, bro. I thought it was up higher. Wow. All right. All right. Done with this now. But it just, yep. Yeah, like hot yeah. tub streamers i know a lot of people say it's bad to have that there right this is like the kind of dichotomy it's like one side is like okay well we need to get rid of the super edgy people people who are you know potentially uh making jokes we don't like in any way and the other side of it is like we need to get rid of anyone who shows tits or whatever shows cleavage right, right. twitch is not a corn site guys and i think that you know when i was younger i was more mad about that kind of stuff but at this point i just don't care you know I the really greater issue care. for me is favoritism towards females i really don't care bro live your life i mean yeah, yeah, it's gonna be hard for some people. Cause, cause you look at me, I have no confidence in myself, <laughs> like at all. People are like, oh my gosh, you look good, bro. Like, I'm an ugly as shit, bro. And then I try to shoot my shot with somebody, bro. Like when I actually do get some confidence, try to shoot my shot, bro. I get I get hit with the you're like a brother to me or you know Give me a second guys. Give me a second, I'm about to cry. Get it together. Get it together. Get it together, man. Yo data history is sad. We know you got to get it together, bro. Oh my god! Of streamers for breaking rules. When if a guy does something bad, he gets banned right away. He gets consequences, right? I mean, take for right. example what happened with Ice Poseidon, right? That was bad. That was bad, but it wasn't even his fault. Another streamer who explicitly got on stream only got a temporary ban and then she did it again and she only got more famous for it which rewarded her and that's what i don't like the inconsistent enforcement to i don't know please what the current journalist woke agenda is right and i hate using the word woke it's it's so fucking, the people who use that word typically are cringe but in this case like it, it, it really does apply right and the reason why twitch does this is that they're caught up in this cultural zeitgeist of really caring about what journalists and kotaku think about what they do which is dumb because nobody reads those articles anyway but for some reason these people at twitch seem to ascribe some power to the legacy media maybe it's over fears of losing advertisers um if that is the case i mean it's somewhat justified but at the same time like you can't remove everyone who's entertaining from your site and now mm -hmm. people who are entertaining are straight up just leaving twitch because they think that it's like a sinking ship in my eyes what would be far more beneficial to twitch would be to be concerned over what will make their website a draw to viewers people who watch streams love to see streamers be honest and vulnerable and sometimes that includes some level of risk and wackiness you know people love that if all you have 
have are super sanitized people like Pokimane, then you're gonna lose viewers on your site. Sure, you'll have a small group of people who like that content, but as far as growing your user base and getting a wide demographic, you're just not gonna be able to get that with the way things are going. Contrast that with Kick, a site which it seems like every week we're hearing this is happening, that happened, Aiden Ross did this, Train Rex did this, this Kick streamer got head on live stream. I mean, it's controversial and journalists are raging about it, and you know, they have a fun time writing gossip pieces about it, but undoubtedly the website is getting clicks, it's generating interest, and the site is growing. And Trainwrecks knows this at the end of the day, and that's why instead of focusing on who we should ban from his site, he's focusing on who we can attract, you know? Twitch is constantly in the news for they ban this person, they punish this person. Uh, hold on. About the whole thing about he's trying to get to the people he, to attract, bro. You might want to be careful about that one. He might get a whole bunch of Yeah, I'm not even going to try to come up with other analogies for those type of people. Because we are, we are thinking the same thing. That's that's why I paused. We all know what it is. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of bad. They should ban this person. All Trainwreck seems to be focusing on is how he gets more entertaining streamers to his site. And he's been able to keep going down this path because he knows at the end of the day, what makes good streaming is not the rules. It's not the fucking guidelines. It's not the community guidelines. It's not the terms of service. It's the streamers. It's the content. The fucking content. And Train, no matter what you think about him, has been delivering the content his entire career. From way back when he was raging at World of Warcraft. I swear to God! I swear to... Lord, I will you. I will spread your ass cheeks apart, and I will suck the shit out, and I will put it into your mother's just so I can f her. To when he was rallying his audience against Twitch girls, and you know, giving giving what some call the incel speech. Here we go. Listen, this is it. Get ready. Get your pop champs ready. This is. Day, this dude has been entertaining right. his entire career, and whatever you think of Aiden sure. Ross, you know, me as someone who thinks this dude is kind of a scumbag, a, a scammer, right? I don't like right. him, but the dude no, gets either. done. He's he's entertaining, and he's a motherfucker when it comes to grinding stuff out. Is he mean? Yes, he is. Is he a like toll? Him. Yes, he is. But he brings the goddamn sure, content. He, he talks about writing. interesting people. He says wild shit. He pulls up like straight up inappropriate videos on stream that you shouldn't be showing your audience. And you know, you can criticize him for that all you want. I'll criticize him for being inconsistent on this, inconsistent on that, scamming his fans yep. here. Uh, but that's what streaming is about. Streaming is about making the best content possible. It's not about being the perfect person, right? It's about showing some humanity, even if that human is not the best person in the world, right? And the thing is, all these people that are super famous are not concerned at all with what Kotaku thinks. They shit on them, they don't care. The way to be entertaining is not to, to create rules and talk about how you should create more consequences for people being. Being mean online that's just not it twitch chat brain i would like to facilitate the creation of legislation that holds people actually no we're gonna... when she said allegedly legislation bro i got tired of it bro i i honestly honestly really Really, do not give a fuck, bro. Let's see what she got to say. Your girl, because I think if you want to pass a bill, you like you usually go in front of a group of politicians and you explain your cause. I'm like, I'll do it. I will do it. I have so many things to say. Pokimane, by the way, averages 10,000 viewers, whereas Aiden Ross averaged 70,000 when he was on Twitch. I mean, he was literally seven times as popular. That is insane. And so I think that Kick with creators like him will probably stand a decent chance of pulling a ton of viewers away from Twitch and maybe even away from YouTube because they're just less restrictive with their rules and they want creators to True. be in the forefront of everything, you know? It's the start of culture. They're not super concerned with people writing hit pieces on the site. In fact, that probably only benefits them because it gets more attention. People will be like, hey, what's this new streaming site? I'm gonna go check this out, see what all the bugs is about and with Aiden there with ice Poseidon potentially going to kick there's a lot of talent on kick right now and train is even teased that more and more people are going to the site some people think that mr. beast could be streaming on the site soon and whether that's true or not mr. beast is clearly in some it will be over everybody switching to kick twitch YouTube it's gonna be done for bro you're gonna have like the small amount of creators that are still gonna be on twitch and YouTube maybe the small creators like me you know because you still got a small audience but once you see people like Mr. Beast, Dante, uh, Rage, uh, uh, what's the name? What's the name? Bruce, Bruce dropped him off. 
the AMP members, bro. As soon as Kai Sinat stops streaming on Twitch, you know it's over. It's over. It's over. They're gonna be on kick, bro. They're gonna be on kick, bro. It can, what, what are we supposed to do? <laughs> it's over for it's over for the average YouTube creator or the average Twitch streamer that are trying to grow their audience and bases. Oh, honestly, switch now. Just switch now. Just switch now. Stop streaming on Twitch if you if you're if you're just starting to stop streaming on Twitch. Just switch. Just stream on Kick now, bro. Support of Kick because he likes I mean, all tech. And the thing about Mr. Beast is he likes the content. He likes the entertainment. He's not concerned with all this other stupid shit. And he, he, he realizes the potential the site has. When these next six signings are announced, Twitch and all of its puppet faces will be shook. And Train did not say who these people were that he's signing. Some think it will be some of the WRL guys like Bruce, Kai Sinat, Your Rage, people along those lines. But regardless of who it is, Train is clearly indicating that there's some major talent coming. Apparently, he's trying to get Asmongold yes. on the site. He wants to get Soda Poppin' on the site, who even said that he may consider it. Destiny, who was banned from Twitch, said he's going to be doing some stuff with Kick in the future, and Rumble as well. I mean, there's a lot of people who are at least considering going there. And for the first time in years, it seems like alt tech compared to Twitch actually stands a decent chance, you know? I mean, they already have some big creators. The community is clearly growing. And with the financial backing of Stake, the gambling site that has sponsored right. Train, Aiden, and some other creators, they definitely have the money to throw around these contracts. So if you're one of the people that is skeptical of Kick, and if it could have a big shot at taking over Twitch, or at least being a very serious competitor, then I think you should think twice. When these signings are announced, they're going to have even more viewers on the site, and with the site being seen as controversial, a lot of people are going to be going there to check it out and see what the big deal is exactly. I mean, myself included, you know? I think we'll be hearing a lot more about kick in the near future and i personally am excited to see what the future holds with it you know despite everything i hope that uh train wrecks aiden ross you know i hope they have success on kick i hope it goes well um and uh yeah i'm just excited to see some some you know some competition in this world it's nice but enough for what i have to say what do you guys think okay leave a comment down below if you like the video and leave a dislike if you dis you heard him comment dislike like all that hey, this is gonna bother me bro i gotta look it up Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. You and I. Bro, this looks exactly like Twitch, bro. This looks exactly like Twitch, bro. Dude is already averaging 50,000. 50,000 people are already averaged in Aiden Ross's stream. After switching to kick. 36 people, you know, it makes sense, bro. It makes sense, bro. You're just starting, right? You're just starting. 1,000. 1,000. 785. 609. 255. 209. 187, bro. Are these like... Nah. Nah, hold on, hold on. I gotta click onto one of them and see if he can get ads, like, right off the bat, too. Hold on. I'm getting someone in the Discord for you. Who the fuck is that? Who the Yo, no, no. Yo. 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 Yes, hold on. Hold on. Oh, yeah, it's already better than Twitch, bro. Bro, I can click on any any Twitch, like, person that's affiliated and automatically get ads. Chris next door. Okay. Okay, kind of make me look bad right now. Should be an ad coming in. Should be an ad. There should be. There should be an ad! Because we all know that whenever you click on somebody's stream, it's always an ad. It's somebody. Come on. Come on. Come on, bro. Come on. You're making me look bad right now, bro. Oh my gosh, so you guys get the point. You guys get the point. I'm just gonna get off. If you're here, boys, little Jackson, I hope you guys have a great rest of your night, great rest of your day, and all that. <laughs> Bro, before I get off, I just want to say one thing, one more thing. Make sure you change somebody else's life out there, bro. Put yourself in a point of view of other role models and other 
put your put your put yourself in that situation of like you are a role model you are the person that they're going to look up to and i promise things will get it better for you even if you're having the worst of days push through you're going to be all right with that said i'll see y'all later i'll see y'all tomorrow with another good one or another mid one another decent one however you want to say it but yeah peace I stay up they go they chilling get ready for summer you know that's my favorite that's my favorite <laughs> my favorite yeah catch y'all later